Once upon a time between a talk and a tick, when a boy became a man in a day. The watchmaker's son learned his father was sick, years after inheriting his trade. So in a day he made a watch in his shop that he locked, fashioned from the best bronze he could find. He put it in a box, custom made for pocket clocks, and made sure it was easy to wind. He marched up Ghost Hill on a path overgrown, with weeds and dead trees all covered in snow, to an old rustic cottage where a man lived alone. It was the old watchmaker. The sun bowed real low. He handed the watch to his father quite ill, eagerly awaiting for praise. Trade this for a cup of tea, I will. How long do you plan to stay? The son, in shock of his father's reply, had nothing at all to say. He said goodbye with glistening eyes and left with much dismay. And then he designed a watch so divine that it took a month's worth of pay and time to make. With a silvery shine, it precisely kept time, even at the bottom of a lake. In a satin red bag with a bright silver tag, the watch was packed nice and neat. The rich village hag said even she would brag, and she is not known for being sweet. He marched up Ghost Hill to the place of his birth, but this time he knocked on the door. The first was a novelty. This one has worth. Enough for a thousand cups of tea, or more. The father did smile to look upon his child, and the son thought his watch was a winner. It's been a while since I've seen such work, but I'd trade it for a roast beef dinner. The son, full of rage, sold the shop his father made, and built a watch of emperor's gold. No box or bag to keep it safe, so he placed it in his hand to hold. He 
marched up Ghost Hill, his life in his hand, and was robbed by a wraith in the night. the thief across the land for seven days and seven nights. I've lost my shop, the watch, my worth, all because of my father's quest. My skill will never surpass the first. He's a craftsman. I'm a novice at best. At the cottage where his sick father lay, the watchmaker's son stood still. Outside the door, he had something to say. He just was gathering the will. He finally knocked on the door as he did once before, and it broke his father's heart. I was robbed on Ghost Hill of a watch worth much more. Because of you, I'm falling apart. Said the father to his son. You must come in at once. Let me tell you a secret of mine. I am Proud you are your father's son. But all I ever wanted was your time. The watchmaker's son learned that dinners and teas teach men to be grateful and still. So every night they enjoyed each other's company after working in the new shop on Ghost Hill.